hi guys this is Kenin today we are going to see how to create virtual machine in Windows 10 Hyper-V so I have installed the Hyper-V server which you can see from my previous video and here I'm going to show you how to create the virtual machine using that Hyper-V so let's check out the requirements for the VM here we need a 2 GB of RAM which will be borrowed from the host machine and we also need 20 GB of virtual hard disk storage to store the virtual machine a minimum of 20 GB is enough for that and we can store it as a dynamical storage so that you won't need to allocate full hard disk space the full 20 GB hard disk space for the virtual hard disk and you also need a virtual NIC card for a network connection and also you need a virtual station enabled motherboard and this I have explained in detail of how to check the VT enabled motherboard in your Windows 10 operating system without booting into the BIOS so let's create a virtual machine using the Hyper-V here I'm going to connect to a Hyper-V so I have connected to a local machine that is a local server I'm going to create a new virtual machine I go to new and select virtual machine and here you need to select next so this will give you some detail about creating the virtual machine if you want you can read in detail just select next here you need to name the virtual machine as Windows 7 so the default storage location which I'm going to use is so here you can see this is the default storage location which you have in your virtual machine settings and this can be done in Hyper-V settings in your local server go to local server here you can see the virtual machine settings here you can browse and select the location to store the virtual machine and the virtual hard disk so I will let it be the storage location so select next and here you can choose between the two generations uh, the generation 1 supports both 32-bit and the 64-bit guest operating systems but generation 2 supports only 64-bit guest operating systems and it has a UEFI based firmware but generation 1 does not have UEFI based firmware so I'm going to leave it as generation 1 that is the default settings and select next here I'm going to specify the amount of memory which you need to allocate to your virtual machine here I will leave it as 1 GB that is 1024 MB and here you can specify from 32 MB to this much amount of memory to improve the performance of the virtual machine here I am going to select this option that is use dynamic memory for this virtual machine this option was selected because the virtual machine will utilize only the memory which it needs at the time of usage so I'm going to select the dynamic memory here I'm going to select next here I need to configure the networking here so this I can do it later I will create a video about configuring the virtual switch manager and after that you can also connect the networking after installing the virtual machine so we don't need to worry about it uh, so I'm going to select next here it was asking for 
creating a new virtual hard disk or you can also use the existing hard disk for storing the virtual machine or you can use a option called attach a virtual hard disk later so I am going to create a new virtual hard disk in the specific location here you can select the location and size I am going to select it as 20 GB so maximum you can select up to 64 TB so here I have only 20 GB select next here it was giving you a option to install an operating system later so it will ask for a ISO file location or you need to use a physical host DVD drive so here I am going to use a operating system from a bootable ISO image file so if you have a CD or DVD you can select the CD or DVD drive from here after that you can install the operating system into your virtual machine and you can also specify the floppy bootable floppy disk from here so that you can install the operating system with the help of the bootable floppy disk and you need to specify only the virtual floppy disk you cannot mention the physical floppy disk because nowadays physical floppy disk are almost not used in most of the motherboards and uh, it was not connected by default you cannot get a physical floppy disk nowadays because it was outdated and right now we are using the USB and the serial DVD drive and then this option was great because you cannot install the network based installation here because I have not configured the networking here so if you have configured the networking then you can ins this option will be enabled and you can select the operating system you can install it any of the operating system from the WDS or any other installation server so I'm going to select this option to install a ISO image file so I'm going to browse and here I I'm going to select Windows 7 professional select open and here I'm going to select next and this confirms you that you have given the name generation memory network which was not connected right now here I will configure the virtual switch manager later and later I will connect it the hard disk and the operating systems which will be installed from uh, ISO file I'm going to select finish that will confirm the configuration wizard completion I'm going to select finish so it is creating a virtual machine network adapter and the disk which I have configured so it is configured successfully here you can see the configuration version status uptime assigned memory CPU usage and the state and here you can also see the name of the virtual machine which is having the snapshots which was created and you can just simply select connect it will throw you a virtual machine window that will ask you to boot or configure any of the settings you can do in this window I'm going to start the virtual machine here you can see I have transferred into a full screen and here you can see it was loading the files So it will take some time to install the virtual machine depending on the memory which you have given to the virtual machine and while installing you can see here it was drinking 1 GB 
that is a full utilization of the memory and it also also showing the status of the virtual machine and the CPU usage which it was running on so let's check the task manager of Windows 10 and here you can see it took about 5 GB of available memory and it was also drinking about 36 percentage to 40 percentage of my CPU utilization so it is starting the installation so this is how you will install the operating system with the help of the Hyper-V server I think you should understand now how to create a virtual machine in uh, Hyper-V server so in my next video I will tell you in detail about how to configure the Hyper-V settings so thank you for watching the video